Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, bringing bad news to dishonest leftoids since 2019. Well, leftoids, I hate to break it to you, but I guess the trend continues because it's nothing but more bad news. Friends, if I was to ask you, what is the most important, I guess, let's say thing, you know, literally anything, if you're a current presidential candidate trying to win in the next general election, it's one word and it starts with a P, Pennsylvania. If Trump wins Pennsylvania, it is over. Many other states will follow suit. I mean, the 20 electoral votes from that state alone are pretty much enough to seal the deal. A couple more states and it's GG, game over, good game. Well, what if I told you that the trend in Pennsylvania continues? What trend exactly? The voter registration trend, as tens of thousands of registered Democrat voters in the state switch their party registration, now identifying as Republican. Folks, it's nothing but more bad news for the Democrat party. No wonder they're trying to end and democracy as we know it, they seem, at least right now according to the data, to be screwed. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, this is a beautiful, beautiful headline. We haven't seen a headline like this in a while. Pennsylvania Democrats switched to Republican Party in droves. It has been revealed that voters in Joe Biden's home state of Pennsylvania are ditching the Democratic Party in droves, with thousands trading blue for red and declaring themselves Republicans. In 2020, Biden only won the Commonwealth by around around 80,000 votes, meaning any decrease in support there could impact his chances in 2024. According to Newsweek, data from Pennsylvania Department of State shows that in 2023, 35,589 Democrats, or registered Democrats, switched over and now identify as Republicans. Additionally, 21,000 now former Democrats dropped any party affiliations altogether. Polling conducted by the Commonwealth Foundation has shown Biden's approval rating among Democrats in Pennsylvania to be six points below the national average of 78%. Throughout 2023, the president failed to prove himself to voters in the state, with his disapproval rating reaching a disastrous low of 61%. So it continues to happen, and it's happening in the most important states. You know, I know people love to link that New York Times, uh, what are we going to call it, graphic, showing a nationwide trend to the Democrat Party. But I feel like for the most part, that narrative is kind of overplayed, a little bit exaggerated. You know, that macro-level trend may be true in the long term, although obviously things can change over time. But in the short term, I'm just not seeing it. In fact, I feel like we're kind of seeing the exact opposite in a way. You know, Georgia was supposed to be the state that was flipping blue. It was gone, out of reach for Republicans. Stacey Abrams hailed a hero. But it seems as though that trend completely reversed. Texas supposedly is trending blue, but we haven't seen any significant trend. Meanwhile, Florida has become ruby red, a conservative powerhouse state changing the electoral landscape entirely, especially during a general election. The amount of money needed to spend or required to win the state of Florida used to be massive. It was one of the biggest focuses of Hillary Clinton's campaign. Well, nowadays, winning in Florida as a Democrat candidate seems almost like a hopeless endeavor. That allows the Republican Party to restructure their funds and focus more effectively at winning in other really important states. Pennsylvania is one of them. That's Joe Biden's home turf. Well, the state's up for grabs now as Joe Biden continues to tank. He's losing in the polling aggregate, as you guys can see over here. Democrats are losing in the voter registration battle, and it's really no surprise why Joe Biden continues to hit lower and lower lows. Even CNN is shocked at the numbers. Our panel is back here. Uh, look, let's just sort of put in context the politics of this for President Biden and how important it is. Just one example from a, a Monmouth approval rating poll uh, question. If you look at the, the issues and how he fares, infrastructure, jobs, climate change, inflation, immigration, he is down 26%. That is not good. It's not good at all. And I think that part of the trip yesterday to Mexico by senior Biden administration officials was obviously to have these diplomatic conversations, but also to make the broader administration's point that this is a regional issue that requires regional cooperation and sort of trying to blunt the criticism from Republicans that you're hearing over and over saying that these were Biden's border policy that's causing these numbers at the border. But that certainly doesn't change the fact that he's under considerable political pressure over immigration and that his administration is probably preparing to make some significant compromises on immigration next month. Pressure because of the situation at the border, pressure because Republicans are trying as much as they can to uh, to blame Biden and his policies. But it's also 
big city mayors. Middle ground voters are ditching this clown. In fact, I don't even think that's fair to say anymore. It's probably more accurate to say these days that Democrats, not just middle of the ground voters, but left wing voters are ditching Joe Biden. They're done with this clown. He's got too much baggage. Now we're seeing even Democrats blasting Joe Biden publicly. Here's Democrat Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson joining on the bandwagon. Well, since taking office a little bit over seven months ago, uh, my administration um, has responded to this humanitarian mission with the full force of government. Um, we have roughly 15,000 people living in shelters, temporary shelters here in Chicago, um, nearly 27 shelters uh, total, uh, 4,500 children in our Chicago public schools uh, system providing health care, um, and also making sure that um, we are screening individuals as they come through the city of Chicago, uh, providing, again, on-site uh, vaccinations at all of our shelters. And this certainly has been um, a remarkable challenge that my administration has mm -hmm. had to face, and quite frankly, a challenge that we are experiencing all over the country. But let me just say this and make this very clear. Um, what I have said repeatedly is that we have to have coordination. Since taking office, we've had an uncoordinated approach. Mm -hmm. And what I've worked to do, instead of having chaos, mm -hmm. is provide some structure and calm around this situation. And without significant federal support, um, this is not sustainable. Well, look, I know you uh, partnered with Governor uh, Pritzker in October and talked to high-ranking White House officials about this and what Chicago needed. And if you're saying you guys are using the full force of your local government. You know, any news story related to Joe Biden over pretty much the last three years, well, let's just say none of it has been exactly confidence inspiring. And of course, that trend continues. There's too much baggage, too much scandal, too much nonsense and basic incompetence. You know, I know that CNN is stunned at Joe Biden's low approval rating, specifically on the economy and the border. But I mean, come on, there's nothing stunning about any of it. The guy is a complete disaster. And on top of all of it, he may also be a criminal, which the American people seem to also be catching on to. As a new poll now finds a large majority of Americans surveyed believe that the Joe Biden impeachment query is justified. And around 6 in 10 say that it is likely that Joe Biden was inappropriately involved in his son Hunter Biden's business dealings. The whole structure is falling apart. Joe Biden is falling apart. Democrats are leaving the Democrat party in droves in some of the most important states. Some Democrats are opting to just leave the party title in general and are classifying themselves as independents. Not exactly good news for Democrats considering Joe Biden is trailing with independents by double digits in most polls. Joe Biden's approval rating hits a rock bottom all time low. Things are looking pretty good and specifically looking pretty good in the state of Pennsylvania. Spread the news to all your Democrat friends. It's time to strap in tight. 2024 is going to be be a roller coaster. Let's see what evil plans Democrats are going to hatch this time. Outside of the fake news brigade weaponizing the DOJ, attempting to imprison their political opponent and remove him off the ballot in various states, I wonder what the real ninth inning, last ditch desperation Hail Mary is going to be. With these types of numbers, you know it's going to be something crazy. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.